all about Lala Kent sharing what Katie told her off camera and really what's going on with the girls denying that she said Katie is miserable. And then I'll tell you guys what I think is really going on here. So this is according to Reality Blurb. It says, Lala Kent was accused of calling Katie Maloney miserable on the latest episode of Vanderpump Rules, but according to her, she never used that particular word, which is true because, again, it turned out she said she thought Katie was unhappy, which is very, very different than calling somebody miserable. Also, Allie, to me, is a sniper from the side. She is very... She always relays the tea and carries the bone, but she never does it in a way that's clean. She adds different words. She throws people under the bus. She did it last season with Katie and Ariana talking about saying Katie said that Ariana and Tom are in an open relationship and that it was Katie who made the big deal about Raquel and Tom hanging out at the Abbey when all of that was a lie. It was Allie who was making the big deal of it. And it was um, Raquel who was the one that was saying that Tom and Ariana were in an open relationship. So Allie multiple times has lied on people. Okay. As Lala 33 denied Allie's claim against her, she explained why she felt that Katie was unhappy amidst filming on season 11 last year as Katie clapped back by suggesting it wasn't a fair assessment and suspecting Lala was deflecting from her own potential unhappiness. I vividly remember not saying the word miserable. I actively tried to steer clear of that word. Lala insisted on the April 16th episode of Pump Rules After Show, but Katie seems very unhappy to me. According to Lala, her assessment of Katie's mental state wasn't only due to what she saw from Katie when cameras were rolling, but also things Katie told her when they weren't. Now, this is where I'm going to say production, they are doing the absolute most and they need to stop because on the after show, production says to Katie, oh, what did you think of Allie telling you that Lala called you miserable? So then Katie responds to thinking that Allie, that um, Lala called her miserable. But then when they're doing the interview with Lala and they're like, you know, um, Allie said you called Katie miserable. And she's like, no, I didn't. And then they actually roll the footage of Lala calling her unhappy, which clearly means Allie is lying. So production is dirty. They had the footage. They knew for a fact Allie was lying. But yet they pose the question to, Qua to Katie as if Allie is telling the truth. Like production, you're messy as hell. You're messy as hell. Stop producing. The people will make, that's another problem with Vanderpump Rules. It is so heavenly produced by the producers and the talent that it's no longer fun to watch and you see how sloppy they're being. Literally in one second, you're saying Allie to Katie, Allie said that Lala called you miserable. In the next scene, they're, ro they're rolling footage of Lala not saying that, but they're rolling the footage to Lala, not to Katie. See, it's, it's so stupid. And then I'm going to tell you also what I really think is going on here. So we got all that. Let's get to what... Um, Blah, 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 blah. Okay. She has said to me that she didn't picture herself, her life this way. She did not picture herself a year and a half, two years out of her relationship, still being single and it being this hard to find good dudes, Lala revealed. I think that also kind of like weighs on her. She wants a companion, but she forgets that men in these streets are scrubs, Lala added. I don't agree with that. I think there are a lot of good men in the world but whatever. Meanwhile, in her own segment with Ariana Maddox, Katie said she didn't know why Lala would say she was miserable. See how they're pinning themselves against each other, knowing that Allie was the one who was actually lying. Anyway, she gets all into it, but I'm going to tell you what I think is really going on here. I think that Katie and Lala were really close and I don't think this has anything to do with Katie being unhappy or miserable, whatever the case is. I think Lala's real beef with Katie is that I bet you Katie has, you know, complained and vented about Ariana behind the scenes off camera to Lala about something about her, about Ariana's ego and big head, about her being very difficult, about all of that stuff. I think that Katie, behind the scenes, kitchen table talk, girl to girl, has really vented about Ariana. But when cameras pick back up and when the cameras are on and to Ariana's face, 
Katie is basically kissing Ariana's butt, you know? And I think Lala is feeling some type of way about that. But this is what I think should have happened. I think Katie should just say to Lala, listen, you and I both know the deal. We know that Ariana has never liked us. She's never had our back. She's never defended us. And she was always just, you know, team Tom Sandoval and rode hard for him. Now, all of a sudden that it's happened to her, she expects us to have some type type of girl code and have her back when she's never had that for us. However, I need to stick with Ariana because one, I don't want the world to go against me because anytime you say anything against Ariana, all of a sudden you're mean, you're miserable, you're jealous, blah, 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 blah. Miss me with all of that BS, you know? And so I think that like, look what happened to Sheena. Fans were going so mean. Oh, Sheena, you make everything about you. They were um, trolling her Chili's commercial that she did where Brock had to come out and be like, you guys like be nice to my wife, send her some love when Sheena's just trying to make some money out here doing the Chili's commercial. Like it has to stop. Like it's really ridiculous. Like Ariana is not God. She's not this untouchable person. To be honest with you, she doesn't even seem like a nice or good person. Her personality isn't that likable. So I'm super confused why people think that they have to like, go against people who have any type of opinion about Ariana that's not like, oh, queen. She's not my queen. (laughs) Like, no, thank you. Like, it really needs to stop and it's over the top. And like, at this point, it's kind of sick. The people who like attack other people who just doesn't rock with Ariana, it's sick, you know? And I think that that is where Lala is coming from. I think that's really why Lala has an issue with Katie. But I think if they had the conversation and Katie was like, listen, I agree with you about Ariana, but I need to get something about her open. I have a lot of money on the table and I can't at this point really afford to have all of the people in the comment section coming at me and have the audience turn. And I think Lala in turn should go to Katie on the side and be like, listen, I'm meeting up with Joe, not because I like Joe, but but because production told me to. And I'm trying to keep my job and I'm trying to keep the show going because we need new people to join the show. We need new storylines. It can't just be Ariana being mad at Tom Sandoval, Tom Sandoval acting like the weirdo he is. That's not going to sustain the show. And we basically need new people and new storylines to keep the show going. I'm trying to keep my check. I'm trying to stay on the show. And I'm trying to keep the show going. Work with me. I don't really like Joe or care about her, but producers asked me to. Same thing with her phone, with Lala's phone call to Rachel. I don't think she really wanted to call Rachel, but I think producers wanted Raquel to come back to the show. And they're like, well, let's get Lala to do it. Seems like she would be the best person. Lala is following directions. Okay, Lala is following directions because she wants to keep her paycheck and she wants to keep the show on the air. And I don't understand why these two grown women can't come together and just have a real conversation, because that's really what's going on, in my opinion, as why they're having this falling out. Lala is basically like, Katie, I know you don't like Ariana like that, but you're but you're leaving me out here to dry. And Katie's like, Lala, why are you calling Rachel? Why are you meeting up with Joe when you know Joe was with you know, shorts, all this stuff. Lala is trying to keep her job. And to be honest with you, Katie is trying to keep something about her and she's trying to keep the favor of the audience. That's it. Just come together at the kitchen table, lay your cards out and stop having and stop beefing. I also think a part of the storyline for season 11 was they had to have, um, They had to have a villain. They had to have someone to, and not Tom Sandoval, because it's like, he can't, sure, he's the villain, but not in any meaningful way. Like, he's kind of like measly, you know, a a weasel with a mustache. Like, nobody's taking Tom Sandoval serious. He's kind of like, quite frankly, he's really sad at this point. Like, dude, give it up. But they needed more conflict. They needed more storyline. They needed more drama. So if it was not the story of Lala versus Ariana this season, what exactly else would we be talking about? What else is going on in this show other than Lala versus Ariana? Lala is clocking in on the job. They're trying to create conflict. They're trying to create drama. What else would we be talking about in Vanderpump Rules? I'll wait. Nobody cares about Joe and Short's storyline. That, who cares? You know, I'm happy that Lala is has her baby and she went through, um, uh, 
the sperm donor and all that great but again great teachable moment but is that going to carry a season no i personally think they had too many episodes about it i think one to two episodes would have been fine they dragged that out for as long as they could happy for her great teachable moment normalizing you know different avenues of conceiving cool cool but is that really why i'm tuning into vanderpump rules for 16 episodes i don't think so you know the whole thing with katie and schwartz hooking up with the same girl that is whack to me totally fake totally set up and again who cares nobody really cares about that you know sheena and brock that's a little interesting to be honest with you them fighting that that's actually yeah that's kind of interesting because we know you know payroll husband and everything but other than that and then james and like you know witchy poo alley you know ai alley james is funny he has good one-liners but he doesn't really make sense to be on the show anymore james should be out you know djing like nobody works there anymore so like what else is going on on this show that's actually going to retain an audience because i think seasonal i think people tuned into season 10 retrospectively to see if they could pick up on clues about the whole scandal thing for not scandal season 10 would have been a flop boring as hell and the show probably would have been canceled but everybody tuned into season 10 to watch retrospectively to pick up on clues and everything everybody tuned into season 11 to see the fallout aftermath who the hell is, is tuning into season 12 with what we currently have? I'm personally not, not probably won't do it because what's going on in the show, we're not invested in these people. They're not actually friends anymore. They, um, they're boring as hell. Every storyline seems faked and forced. And I don't want to look at Ariana's stink face every single episode. Lala is just clocking in because she wants to keep the paycheck coming. That's why I think she's going to go to the Valley because she wants the paycheck and she wants to stay famous. And I'm not mad at that. That's like anybody on your, that's like you going to work and your coworker wanting to keep their job, wanting to keep the lights on at the company you're working with. You know, the problem is they're not coming together and having a game plan and being like, listen, this is what the deal is. That's really what's going on here. So that's what's, I don't know. When it comes to all of this, I understand Katie. I think Katie is still really hurting. I understand Lala wanting to keep her job and keep the paycheck. And that's pretty much it that's going on here. This little feud between Katie and Lala, to me, is kind of boring. It it doesn't really matter. The stakes are really low because I think these, that these are two women who actually like each other, but they're just not communicating with what the real agenda is, you know? So that's what I really think is going on. They will be fine. It's really not that big of a deal. And the stakes aren't high on the show. Like if any of these couples break up, would anybody really care? If, to be honest with you, if any of these friendships dissolved, would anybody really care? Because I don't really buy it in the first place. So I want to know what you guys think, you know, are you watching Vanderpump Rules? Will you tune in for season 12 if they if they have a new season? What do you think about Lala and Katie? Is the beef real or are they just not communicating? And what do you think um, is going to happen at the reunion? Apparently there is some big bombshell at the reunion. I hope it's a real bombshell and not the fake bombshells that they usually tell us. I hope it's real. So as always, put it down below and let me know what you guys think. And, all, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. So with that, let's move on to our next story.